what's up y'all it's your girl the key is me and i am back again with another video now in this video i'm going to be doing a highly highly requested makeup get ready with me slash foundation routine i don't really know what to call it i'm going to be showing you my foundation routine how i highlight and how i contour as well as the hair that you see now in this clip prime my face with smashbox photo finish then I'm going to be taking my foundation. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro in the color 27 Cappuccino. Love, love, love this foundation. And it's funny because I got this free from a website called Influencer. And ever since I tried it, I literally fell in love and had to go to the store to get another bottle. Love, love, love this stuff. If you have oily skin, this is good foundation for you. And the brush that I'm using is the MAC 120 brush. I honestly don't know why I bought this. This is a waste of money because I actually like my e.l.f. brushes better. But, hey. Then I'm going to be taking my damp sponge from Real Techniques. You always want to make sure that you start off with a clean sponge. And then I just run it out of the water for a little bit. And then I just go through my face and blend my foundation to my skin. Damn. Damn. Now I'm going to start with my under eye highlight because this is a natural look. I did a shade that was kind of right up under my foundation shade. So I'm using the LA Pro Girl concealer in the color Chestnut. I got this from my local beauty supply store. I believe you can get them on Amazon as well. So I told y'all I love my e.l.f. brushes. So this is one of my favorite brushes from e.l.f. You can get it from Target. I believe Walmart have them too, but I kind of see them more in Target than I do Walmart. But this is the concealer brush. And this is what I use to blend my concealer together. And then you'll see me after this, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender just to make sure that I'm blending the actual concealer with my foundation so there's no harsh lines. So if you want an actual full coverage look under your eye, let it sit, let your concealer sit for a little bit so that it can get a little bit matte and then start blending it out. And that'll give you a more full coverage so that concealer won't be moving with your brush as you're blending it in. Okay, so as the oily girl, I cannot do my makeup without this translucent powder. This is the best stuff since Lice Ray, y'all. The bomb.com. This is a Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep. Now, I used to use the actual translucent white powder, but since this one is closer to my skin complexion, I feel like this gives me a better finished look. Love, love, love this stuff, y'all. I'm using another e.l.f. brush. I believe this is the blush brush, but I use it for my translucent powder. I'm patting the translucent powder into my face. So you won't see me wipe it off or brush it off. I'm actually patting it down into my skin so it can set inside my skin. Alright, so now we're getting into the contour. I am taking a concealer stick by Black Radiance. I believe this color is called Batten Camouflage. I got this off Amazon. It was in a three-pack. And it was really inexpensive. Then I am taking a Real Techniques brush. Definitely not sure the name of this brush. But it's the pink one and it kind of has the flat top. So 
of course with that same brush I'm going to go in with my bronzer I'm using covergirl queen bronzer in the color ebony bronze and I got this from Walmart again as y'all can see most of the stuff that I use for my makeup is not expensive I'm one of those type of girls well I'm not spending a lot of money on makeup because it's something that I use a lot which means I'm gonna have to keep spending more money a lot and that's just something I'm not gonna do <laughs> And as you can tell from the beginning of the video, I already had lashes on. These are actually mink lashes that my lash tech did. So I'm just going using this brush to brush them out. And they lasted me about three weeks. I kind of could have went back to get a fill in, but I wasn't really feeling spending $100 on some lashes. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. This is a mascara that's also in my giveaway. This is the Maybelline Time Shayla. I know if y'all don't know makeup Shayla, she's literally everything. So proud of her. Then for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite from MAC. This is the Gold Deposit. I love, love, love this stuff. Like my friends know, when they see it, they already know what it is because I literally, this is the only highlight that I use and it lasts me a very, very long time. To finish it off, I'm gonna spray this Urban Decay D-Slick setting spray and this is an oil control setting spray. Love it. Oops, I almost forgot about the lips. So we are going in with the ColourPop this is the Ultra Matte Lipstick, and it's in the color Guess, which is like a deep, deep purple. Meanwhile, all of ColourPop lipsticks are only $6. $6. And look how nice this lipstick look. Literally racked up. I have so many of their lipsticks. <laughs> All right, so now on to the hair. This hair was sent to me from Sumber Hair, and I have in the Loose Wave in a 16 inch closure. Then I have 18, 20, and 22 bundles. And as you can see me now, I'm taking down my pin curls. So I actually curled this hair. Well, I put some setting spray on it. I curled this hair and then I put my pin curls in it to keep the curls overnight. And it actually set the curls and made them last a lot longer than what it would have been had I would have just curled it and left it out. So of course when I first received the hair I went ahead and I washed and conditioned it and I let it sit for a little bit because I did bleach my knots in my closure so of course I had to let it soak to make sure that all of the dye was out of it but I absolutely love 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 this hair able to run my hands through this hair without getting any tangles the only thing that I can say is that this hair does shed and the reason why I may be experiencing shedding is because I did cut my tracks. So as I was making this wig, because this is a wig, I cut my tracks. I didn't fold them over. So that could be the reason why I'm getting a lot of shedding. And y'all know I wear a lot of crochet braids. So I definitely had to get used to wearing bundles again. But these bundles are definitely affordable so I'm going to put all the Sumber hair information down in the description box. Thank you again for tuning into this video. I hope that y'all like this quick makeup tutorial. If you please like, comment, subscribe, and share and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.
You can tell me anything you want, I'll forget about it